Welcome to the French Drain Man channel. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and I want to talk about leach fields. Probably one of the hardest projects for DIY, and most contractors can't even wrap their brain around it. So if you have to watch this video a couple of times or ask you know some questions in the comment section, you know, by all means, we're gonna get you there. So I had a home that had a sump pump discharge line and it would flood out the front yard. So I proposed to the homeowner, let's build a leach field to take all this water to. Now a leach field is pretty much level. You build it level, you want it to contain the water and you want to build the leach field so that you have a lot of chamber. So the more chamber, the more water you can contain. And then you need to design a spillover or a spillway. Literally just a pop-up on the end of one of the fingers is all you need. In the event that you know, you're seeing so much rain and your sump pumps are running all the time, or maybe this is for your, you know, French drain, it could be for your yard drain. Okay, so this is really important. Look at all the dirt, how we're not hauling it away. We're literally putting it on the side of the leach field. This is so that we can blend it into the lot. This is going to contain the water. You're building a containment area for the water. That way, it could take however long it takes for it to leach into the subsoil, and it's not going to be a problem. It's not going to be standing water in the front yard for this gentleman any, anymore. So you can see Francisco swinging the track hoe. He's stacking all that dirt. We're not going to take it. We need it all. We're going to fill this with pipe and stone, and then we're going to cover it with some dirt. But mostly we just want to have a dam all the way around our leach field. There is an area, I call it a spillway. You know, it's just so that when you reach full, you have an area designed in the system that will let excess water escape in the event that you're under so much rain through a really, really bad stretch that the ground can't keep up with it. Your leach field can't keep up with it, basically. You don't want to create a situation where the water backs up and now you have a full yard drain system or perhaps a full sump pump discharge line. You know, just back feeding the water is not, you know, able to go anywhere once the leach field is full. So that's why you need, you know, a, a pop up on the end of one of the chambers, a spillway. So set up a string level. That's very important. Why do you need a string level? You buy a string level, it's literally a dollar, dollar ninety nine, and you go ahead and you pound two pieces of re-rod in the ground and you make sure that that string level, which is a bubble, the bubble is center. Now you can build the dam around the leach field and you could hit all the elevations right spot on that way you're not wasting the dirt because you really need all the spoils that you're excavating out for your leach field for your dam okay so you want to make sure you buy knife cut you want knife cut for your chambers it'll hold the water and let it slowly leach into the subsoil but i do have a trick that i don't have on video but I'm going to describe it so that you can clearly understand. So here's the manifold, and here's the knife cut. Knife cut doesn't have any material removed. It's just exactly what the name, you know, indicates. It looks like a knife just cut some slits in the pipe. So when the water loads in these chambers, it'll slowly dissipate into the subsoil. It won't overwhelm the subsoil. But in between the knife cut... If you have a very active sump pump or you know your yard really floods bad, you're going to want to put some 6-inch with the material ground out 
So you want the perforated 6 inch. And when, all you have to do is buy the Boffman tile end plugs for 6 inch. So you're essentially creating more void. If you see the knife cut right now, you see the four chambers. Picture putting pipe in between each one of those chambers. You're adding three more and you want it to be perforated. That way you create these giant voids, more chamber, because stone fills in the voids. Now, this sump pump system doesn't run very much. This house doesn't have a real active sump pump, so I know I'm fine just the way we're building it. But most of the time, we would put perforated pipe in between the knife cut, so there would be way more void than what this leach field is built for. I wasn't containing very much water here, so what you see is all I needed. Some of the other techniques are a longer leach field. If you have the room and the property, the more water you need to contain, the bigger the leach field. So we use the 8-ounce fabric in our leach fields. So there's 8-ounce fabric in here. Then we put our manifold in. We use our super sticky, super stretchy FDM tape, and we tape our connections from the sump pump line to the manifold. Once you get your pipe and stone in, you can go with 8-ounce fabric again, and if you're in the north like we are, you can put straw over top of it. This will prevent it from freezing, and it really does work. And the fact that it's going to get covered with dirt, it doesn't decompose like people think. It actually stays in that ground for many, many, many years to come. I've dug up old leach fields and couldn't believe the condition the straw was in. So I didn't get a really good shot of our spillway, but our spillway is built into a ditch bank. So we lucked out on this job. To keep the gentleman's yard from flooding out, we had nice slope to our leach field, but that was it. The water would have just stayed in the front yard and it wouldn't make it into the ditch at all. So then we built our leach field, and then we built the dam all the way around it. Very important, that dam is key, and then you have to have an overflow. Somehow you build it in. A spillway, a pop-up on the end of one of the chambers, it's that simple. Don't overthink it. Now, sure, during the rainiest times of the year, the system will be overwhelmed, and you're going to end up having water come out of the overflow. No big deal. But for the rest of the year, for 90% of the, the year, you're going to be fine. It's just that 10% where the leach field will be overwhelmed. So if you think of it this way, 90% of the year, your yard is not going to be muddy. It's going to be nice and dry because a leach field is going to contain all the water. 